lot and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and if you're not new here, welcome back as always. Today is a really exciting day. It's actually my second PR event in the space of a week. I don't know what's going on, but I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm really excited for this one. There is a new cocktail bar opening on Fleet Street in Liverpool and I was invited to the launch. So it actually opens tomorrow on the 2nd of June. Oh, I've just got my Be Real notification. Hang on. If this says I'm late, I swear to God, it keeps crashing. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Here's the Be Real. Send... Apparently I'm late, but that's okay. As I was saying before, there's a new cocktail bar opening on Fleet Street in Liverpool and it actually, I can't remember what I've said. Oh my God. There's like an influencer content creator event happening tonight and I'm obviously not an influencer by any means. I just do this for fun. Tonight plus one is year one. I thought we'd go on a little cocktail date night kind of thing. It's called Vice and apparently according to year one, it's like Miami Vice themed, which would make sense. It looks really, really cool. Yeah, I haven't even said what I'm doing in this video. You the scene by the title but I'm gonna do a quick get ready with me I'm not gonna go into like proper detail it's not gonna be a tutorial at all I'm just gonna talk about my life we can have a little catch up so grab a cup of tea and a biscuit I don't know why I say that is if I drink tea grab your chosen beverage and just enjoy me talk loads of rubbish about my life and getting ready and I will also bring you along to the event tonight ever since I got my fringe I've hated my forehead even more like part of the reason I got a fringe because I didn't like my forehead but I'm gonna have to put it up in a roller while I do my foundation and concealer <laughs> and I'm gonna look at myself in the viewfinder the foundation I'm gonna be mixing dropped it. I'm gonna be mixing these two. I've got the Maybelline Superstay. I actually bought this yesterday because I normally use the NYX Concept Won't Stop but I just get bored using the same foundation over and over again so I thought I'd try a different one. One day I will have a makeup collection to brag about. I got shade. I honestly haven't a clue. 05 Light Beige and in the Fit Me I got 102 Fit Ivory. I get a different shade in this one every single time. I genuinely don't know what shades I am. Okay it seems to go a longer way than the NYX Concept Won't Stop. I'm gonna have to get my ear out. I'm really sorry. I don't think this is too bad of a shade. Oh, uh, I've got foundation on my sleeve. Sorry, Yuan. This is not even my clothes. It is Yuan's fleece. It'll come off in the wash. It's okay. Don't panic. It's literally sweating right now. I shouldn't have even put a fleece on because I wanted to use natural light while I was doing my makeup. But it's like the time of day where it's like quite low and it's literally blinding and it just didn't look right on the camera. So I've had to opt for my ring light, which gives off so much unnecessary heat. Me and Yuan kind of wanted to go themed, but not like a fancy dress level themed. So... I've got this like, I don't even know if it's the right theme because it's meant to be like Miami Vice which is 80s Yuan said. I've got a, like a disco ball dress that I'm gonna hope for the best. I don't feel very confident in it but Yuan says I look nice so fake it till I make it tonight. Ugh, I don't know. It's just not the type of dress I wear because I don't really wear fancy going out dresses that often because I am a grandma so I don't know. I just feel a bit exposed in the dress I guess. I'm really excited to see you Anne because I don't really see him like dressed up properly that often but he's wearing a little shirt. Oh God, I keep dropping everything off this. He's wearing a little shirt and some smart pants so I'm really excited to see him. Oh, oh I dropped my concealer on the floor. Concealer is my favourite concealer. I'm in focus now. Yeah. I think I am. It's the Maybelline Eraser Concealer, I think, but I really like this one. I feel like it's really lasting. I did like a little makeup restock shop yesterday. I literally always run out of things at the same time and I'm like, how am I supposed to like make do if everything's empty? What shade is this? Probably not the right one either. Zero one. Oh, I actually got this one last time. Oh, that was way too much. Oops. I was a bit twist happy then. When I watch YouTubers and they just kind of disappear for a little while, I always want to know why. I'm a nosy person and I just want to know. I don't know if anyone cares but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Music wise I have been doing really really well to be fair. Obviously there's still a long way to go in cracking the music industry because that is probably one of the hardest industries to a get in and b navigate yourself around so I've done myself a bit of a disservice but you know what I felt like it was my calling. It's going well obviously the first two singles from my EP are already out. Worked with a actual mix engineer slash, produ slash producer on these so I feel like that was a big step in me actually taking music seriously and making it more than a hobby because I was actually like investing in music. I'm really glad I did it because I had a really good response. Obviously if you follow me on other socials you'll know that Wishful Thinking actually was played on Radio 1 and I still can't get over that. The whole story of the email, I had uploaded it to BBC Introducing and I'd had like a good response from that. I'd had an interview with BBC Reducing. 
introduced it even. I'd spoke to Dave Monks on the phone, which is really cool. I feel like I completely bottled that interview though. I feel like I had so much more to say because it was like quite a big deal for me at that moment in time. I, I don't know, like listening back, I was like, why do you sound like that? Like you should have said this, you should have said that. But I feel like that's like a toxic trait that everyone has. I think it was a few days after that, I got an email to say that I was being played on what I thought again was BBC introducing Liverpool. So I saw the email and was like, right, okay. I'll read it properly later. And then Joe, my mix engineer, sent me a message and was like, you're being played on national radio. And I was like, say that again. I was like, what? I was like, so confused. And then I actually like read through the email again and realised that it wasn't just like local Liverpool radio. It was national radio one all around the city not even city all around the country what the hell the coolest thing ever i've let the fringe down done all the liquidy products now contour my rusty dusty contour stick i went into primark yesterday to find another one of these and there was hardly any shades left and none of them were my shade so i use honey and honestly this two pound fifty concealer not concealer contour is the best thing ever like it's so like smooth and easy to blend my new year's resolution for 2022 was to try and do at least one live performance a month I move that way. whether that be an open mic a gig a festival like anything even if it was like my uni gig so that was my may gig i just went with a uni gig i haven't got any in june just yet but in july i am doing two festivals so i have one on the 9th of july which is a charity one actually which i'm really happy to be doing it's for two charities that are very close to my heart one is called the open door charity which is kind of like mental health therapy charity for young people which allows people to come together build a little community in the mental health world that was awful word, wasn't it? But it's for young people to come together and do creative things, like help out in the local community, just have like a safe place, which I really like the idea of. I actually do want to look more into that charity because it seems like something I'd like to do because I am obviously a huge advocate for mental health because of my own journey with it. The other charity is called Girls I Rate, which is basically a organisation to help young people well not young people, young women in the music industry who show potential in their early career. It just gives them opportunities and we need more of that. It's a hard industry to grasp when you're a young person, especially a female. So I'm all for it. I am all over that charity and I'm very excited for that gig. Then I'm also doing Formby Festival, which is like a really wholesome family-esque festival. And I think that's really up my street to be honest because I don't know, there's bouncy castles there, there's pet and farms, like what could be more me? I'm just about to go in with bronzer, this is the body shop one in shade Molochan Nutmeg but I really like this, it also smelled really nice when I first got it out as well and I swear all my brushes have gone on a little vacation because I can't find most of them, I don't know why, like they're not in my drawer, they're not round where I do my makeup normally so I am just choosing a brush that I've never used for my bronzer before. I feel like I've said this a million times and everyone's probably sick of hearing me say this, but music is taking the forefront at the minute. I used to be able to manage music and YouTube quite well before I started uni. So I think now that I am off uni, I am gonna be back on the ball with things because I've got a video going up tonight. I've got a video going up on Sunday, which are both completely ready. Like they are definitely going up. Then I've got this one, which will be going up the following Sunday, I think, or maybe Wednesday. I'm just going to try and get as much content out as I can while I'm, like, enjoying YouTube. Because I feel like I've got my swing back. And I think it is the invites to these PR events. Like, it just makes it feel worth it. Because as much as I love doing YouTube, and as much as I don't do it for, like... I don't even do it, like, career-wise. Like, I do and I don't. It'd be great if a career came off the back of it. But I genuinely just, like, enjoy sitting talking to myself talking to a little metal box aka you guys but i just like to document things like i've always hated forgetting things my whole life i take pictures of everything i take videos of absolutely everything so youtube is like the perfect thing for me to be able to look back on and it's something that i'm glad i started i am really glad i did start a hair in my mouth i don't know where i was going with that to be honest but yeah I've got my swing back, my mojo back. It's easy to think of content and it also helps me meet 
other people like at the body shop event the other day I met some girls and I now have them as like Instagram friends and YouTube friends it just makes me happy like I said in my other vlog as well that I love having Lorraine as now a close friend that I can make plans with outside of YouTube and it's more than just like commenting on each other's videos and like supporting each other's content I just love it I'm just trying my best to get back on the ball of things and keep enjoying it I don't want to lose the fun of it I definitely put too much blush on my nose then I am using the blush from the LA Splash Moonlight Glow Palette which I got in Glossy Box a few months ago. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows which I don't normally do before I do my eye makeup but Yuan has just rang to say that he's on his way so I need to get a move on and it's better for me to have my eyebrows not done properly than be halfway through my eye makeup when I have to go down and collect him so I thought I'd do this first and swap the order up which really stresses me out there's like none left of this but this is the benefit precisely my brow pencil which is in shade 275 which is actually auburn so it's nice to find an eyebrow product that's actually my hair color i'm also going to do it off camera just because i need to get a wriggle on <laughs> this cutie pie look how cute he looks in his shirt He's all shy. You're not normally shy. My neck and face look completely different colour, but I don't think it looks like that in real life, so it's fine. I didn't end up doing the rest of the get ready with me, but I was speaking nonsense for like half an hour anyway, so that's more than enough footage. So I thought I'd spare you all the pain of listening to me talk about myself for another half an hour. So we are off to the event very soon. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Where's your shirt from? I've got my shirt from my time. Yeah, pants. Trousers from next. Lovely. Ralph Lauren belt, just for and happy socks. Happy socks. Let's go. Oh, I'm so handsome. Okay, my dresses are from Pull and Bear in the disco range, which I haven't worn had for ages, so it's really old Pull and Bear. I have my earrings from Primark, boots also from Pull and Bear. 